What's up everybody, this is Beetle5, keep it the beat with Super Smash Brothers Brawl, the subspace emissary. Now, the last left off, we uh, finally got most of the people to meet up so far, well, at least the main guys. We got Mario, Link, Kirby, Pit, and Yoshi all ganged up down one big group. So that's one good team we got forged right now. So let's see who we're moving on with here at the Path to the Ruins. Oh, we got ourselves a Charizard. Okay, so it looks like... Yo, you got them Pokemon training cards too? You got the original Charizard? Alright, let's go Squirtle. So I guess now we are hunting for the remaining two Pokemon. To add to our edition of Rampaging Smashers! Combat. Oh, hello, you brought your friend here. Squirtle's like, no, none of that. Thank you. Oh! Fabulous. Sad, I'm getting hit by shit. Oh my god. <laughs> it's cool. Pokemon Trader has like his own little teleporting abilities. He can move along with the scenery. Oh fuck you guys. I hate the puppets. They're going to be extremely annoying. Oh shit. His up tilt is extremely good. For Squirtle, I like it. I don't know if I said this before, but of all the Pokemon, Squirtle. Oh, he's in here. Of the Pokemon that Pokemon Trainer is made up of, Squirtle is definitely my favorite. Oh, I guess I'm going down here. Fuck are you. Uh... It's so crazy how you look back at uh, Melee, and S actually, I don't know if it was in Smash 64. No, the Metal Box wasn't in Smash 64, but it was in Melee. I think I don't think there was any real weight gained to it. Like at least, and if there was, not nearly as much as it's been added to. To this and uh and the smash four god damn you guys are weird it's like a giant tower of weirdness i'm not even gonna kill the other one you're not even worth my time boom boom tip of the curly tail boom boom tip of the curly tail apple hamburger i would like to buy a hamburger and there's a secret secret down here Oh, I remember. I'm like, okay, one of these pits has a secret secret. I think it is the third one. Um, I don't know what the fuck that is. There's a paper Bowser down there. So let's get paper Bowser. Oh, and uh, what do we got up here? Oh, we got Entei. Entei is pretty badass. Plus the the third Pokemon movie was always awesome. With Entei and the Unknown. And it was cool because at the... Actually, I was, I was, just, I was gonna say something really stupid. I was gonna say, you know, it was the first time Pokemon ever talked. But I'm like, um, no. Mewtwo and Lugia both. And Slowking. And Slowking's not even a legendary type. Oh, speaking of legendary types, Mew. But yeah. So I was gonna say something stupid. But I stopped myself until I explained what said stupid thing was. So, sorry for being stupid. Okay. Oh, giant volcano. Oh, look, Mario fireballs. How original. Don't you guys know? Water beats fire. Turn that shit off. I gotta say, I really wish the uh, the water effect actually did a physical attack. Same for Mario's flood. I think it's really a big fat waste that they just have a pushback effect. I mean, I'm sure people who main Mario use that to, to their advantage, because I've seen some of that happen, so I'm not going to say that, it's, oh, it's a stupid move. I think it's a stupid move, but, but I'm sure other people have found it to be useful. But anyways, that's their, that's their opinion. Let's see what's in here. Boop. Uh, Dark Nut from Twilight Princess. I could be parachuting down here. Oh, boy. Bonk, uh, bonk, bonk, oh, oh, I never got the, uh, the red one. Oh, I killed it. Then I'll hang on to it. I'll be fine. Bonkies. Oh, here we go. Uh, no, oh, now we got reasons. All right, uh, how do I want to do this? Oh, they're going to be so hard to catch. 
The red one. The, the left red one. I gotcha. I may have already gotten you before. Whoa, is there a ceiling up here? I don't know. Nope, you don't even get the transform, bitch. Oh, maximum tomato and a heart container. Oh, that was nice. That was fabulicioso self. That was a big blob of nothing. I don't think I've ever gotten a fire pyramid before. Bonka. But did I ever get one of the shooting pyramids either? I don't know. Oh! Oh! I love combroing. Just combroing in Smash is such a good feeling. It's so good. It really is. Giant gaping hole in the middle of the platform. You know what? You know what? By Smash 4 standards, people would call this a tournament legal stage. <laughs> Let's just see why the fuck not. It seems legit. Oh shit, I want that. Cause, <laughs> cause these guys wouldn't- Oh shit! Oh. I was gonna say, they wouldn't know any better if I had a Franklin badge on. You ain't knocking me down. You ain't knocking me down. Ain't nobody gonna bring me down. Boom, bitch. Hey, look. Now I'm Ness. Now I am honoring the memory of Ness. I will take this baseball bat and whack those who dare stand in my way. And I will whack them really hard with this here baseball bat. Well, I guess I won't be whacking anybody with this baseball bat. Oh, well. All right, what have we got? Why am I running into nothing? Ooh, spooky, scary cave. Yo! You fat bastard! Time for payback, man. You booked your dits and nests. Gonna kill you! As Lucas, we're gonna we're gonna settle things this time. I'm kind of surprised that the Pokemon trainer is willing to bring out a Pokemon to fight another human. They're really never, like, they're not known to do that shit. Oh, God, no. You ain't nothing though without your subspace gun, you bi bitch. Oh, my God. He sends up so much fly higher than normal. Normally in Smash 4, you could do a combo, which you throw, uh, do a down throw into a, um, into a, what the, the fuck is it called? Oh, my God, the trippy feature. Down throw into a uh, neutral air yeah, like that. Oh my god, you you are a little bastard. No, no, no! I'm like, don't you back throw me, you bitch. Can we get? Oh, you gotta go for the bumper. I don't think so. Come on. Gotcha. You're done. <laughs> Easily one of the strongest up smashes in brawl. <laughs> Magic power. So suck on that, Wario. And we ain't changing you back. But, but where's Ness? He's not here. He's like, yo, it's okay, bro. We'll find him. We're gonna get. We're gonna find your buddy friend, and we're gonna get him back. All right. Yo, what we got here? DDD's uh. Kind of getting his own little collection here. He's not really working with the Bowser and a Wario. I think I established that before. Oh, I don't got enough badges. But these badges are really cool. I don't know if he intentionally made them to do it this, but um, but their their effect is that they eventually go off on a timer and they turn people who were trophies back to normal again. <laughs> oh man, what a doof. Good thing trophies are indestructible. Whatever the fuck they're made of. Alright. So. How are the Goombas gonna grab the trophies? Oh, probably it'll just bloop, bloop, bloop on their heads. Oh, we found Peach. Well, isn't that a drag? Eh, actually, let's not, let's not do it just yet. I wanna try again. One more thing. Let's go to the cave. Okay. Whoa. What's in the cave? This is the cave? Alright, back with these gentlemen again. Fine gentlemen. Good gentlemen. Ass kicking gentlemen. But I, the question is, are we gonna go bust up DDD's ass or Bowser's ass if I don't get my ass busted by giant ass rocks? 
That'd be rather nice. Kinda don't want that. Oh lordy, the ceilings. Fuck them. So yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna fight Bowser down here most likely. We've got his cronies running around. Oh, yep, hello. Bowser cronies. Oh, man. Paratroopers hit quick. Damn it! Oh, oh my god! Fucking Wombo Combo! Did you see that shit? That was amazing! Oh, double the Wombo Combo. I just raised hell on their sorry asses. Set your ass down. There you go. Oh, that I don't see you down here. I would have saw you in like seconds. Oh, collapsing ceiling. Don't want to avoid that. Uh, rising floor. Don't want to want to avoid that. No, fuck you. Let's get out of there. The top and on top of each other. That's a flip. -up. Oh, I want this. What we got? Paper Luigi. Oh shit. Well, okay. It was worth the risk. I needed that Paper Luigi. Paper Mario is another really awesome game. All of them. I, uh, actually, well, no. I take that back. Everyone up to Super Paper Mario was great. I don't need those. All the sticker crap that they started up are really stupid. Punch, kick, kick, kick. Hammer, bro. But yeah, no. Um, Paper Mario for the N64. Paper Mario on the Thousand Year Door. Whoa. 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 And, uh, Super Paper Mario for the Wii are all the good Paper Marios. I know, I just, they, the rest of them just look ridiculous, in my opinion. This is just my opinion. But, you know, I tend to critique a lot of what Nintendo's doing nowadays. I think the Switch is going to be really successful, though. I don't know if I've ever discussed the Switch on here. I do intend to get it. Hopefully I can. But it's, uh, I think they're really going to... Just gonna hit a high spark with this. Now that they're finally teaming up with a lot more third-party uh, companies than they've ever had before. Because Nintendo's been really, really stingy with sharing their pro products and shit with everybody. Like, like third-party stuff. Like, Smash Bros. is probably the most generous thing they've ever done. So. But now I think that they're gonna broaden their horizons a bit more. It's definitely gonna do good for them. Just up smash your sorry asses. Oh my god, it pisses me off to no end that I can't grab goddamn ledges. Fuck it. Whoa, collapse that right there. Will this do the same? Oh yeah, whoa, the whole thing collapsed that time. Bonka, bonka. Oh no! Ah, the damage. You bastard! Sending me in all this poison gas that's racking me up. It's gonna kill me in seconds. Something's gonna kick my ass soon. Fireball. Go, baby. Go, 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 go. Running through the poison gas. Run through this and collapsing ceiling. So many obstacles. I still have a trophy stand to use. And I'm still getting my ass kicked. One of these guys will kill me bad. Boingy, 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 boingy. Boingy, boingy, boingy. Whoa, boingy, boingy. Oh, that was close. He almost ran me over one hit and they'll kill me. Good, I don't think I ever got the fire one. Oh, pie. No! And grapes. I needed those grapes. Kickies! Bonk. Bonk. Oh! No! Boinka. Boinka. Okay, I'm doing okay. I'm not dead yet. I am not gonna die today. Maybe not. Boop. Alright. I'm gonna want to beat this level of Mario. That'd be wickedly impressive if I did that. T. T's always good. Oh, shit. Well, okay. That doesn't look like that thing's gonna kill me any easiest. Most other things would. So what's in here? Oh, health. Please! Oh, um, two chickies from Animal Crossing. And Mr. Rossetti from Animal Crossing. He's like the most memorable character from Animal Crossing easily. I did not play much Animal Crossing. It wasn't really a game that appealed to me. Don't get me wrong, it was cute as all oh, holy shit, but... I just got really bored with it after a while. I did not find it entertaining. I mean, I guess if you like those little simulator-y kind of games. Because it's kind of simulator-ish. You like run a town and stuff. Whoa. Come on, you should know that punching her wouldn't do anything. It's not like you could hurt her. Ooh, wicked dodge for a big guy. Well. 
Shit! Koopa Clown Car. That is not your typical Bowser laugh. It sounds way different than Bowser laughs from other Mario games. A little high pitched. He does a much deeper Bowser laugh, like. Like that. He's like, hey, I know that face. He's the big dummy with that hammer that tries to take all the food. That's my job. I'm the one who takes all the food. Yo, what you doing, Minister? Why are you, why are you blowing up all these sections of the world? Like, wh what significance does this castle hold to you? Or or threat? Oh, wait, that's DDD's castle. I can see by the logo there. It's the, the penguin bunny logo thing that's on the back of his robe. Okay, why blow up DDD's castle? I don't, like, you really you're not explaining why you're doing this shit. Yo! The player himself, Master Hand! Oh boy. We want you to obey my every command. So he's the one pulling the strings behind the operation. And the whole premise of Master Hand is actually really, really cool because he's really the player. You are the Master Hand. You're playing with your toys. Although Master Hand is originally from the Kirby series. Because he comes on your game over screen and like pokes you and shit. But just the whole premise of the Master Hand is so cool. He's easily one of the coolest villains in like most games. But anyways, that's about all the time I got for today. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to leave a comment of what else I should play in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Later!